Hello, the internet. Am I in a hole? I look like I'm shorter. You're always shorter than me. I'm always shorter. I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the slow-mo guys. I almost couldn't remember the name of our channel for a second. <laughs> um, there's this company called SOG, or SOG, I'm not sure how they say it. They were like, hey, if we send you knives, do you want to try and cut a bullet in half with one? And I thought, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just reply. <laughs> yes. Yes, here's my address. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to use a real bullet. We're just going to use our trusty air pistol um, because it's way less dangerous. And I have a very small backyard where discharging a firearm would be insanity. Yeah, we've got a small backboard here. <laughs> yeah. I, I think a bullet would probably go through that. So, so we're going to try and cut the pellet, pop these two balloons. It reminds me of one of those 22 Plinkster videos. Yeah. Except, except you're not going to do it sort of over your shoulder like this. I'm not going to be like here firing <laughs> stuff all over. I'm just going to be like right next to the thing, missing it all the time. We're going to use the 2511 on this one. Need a fast camera, need a high frame rate. Let's see what happens, shall we? We'll start off by shooting this at 28,000 frames a second in 720p. And that means the use of the V2511, which is very loud. There it is. What? What? Sorry? I can't hear you, what? Okay, what are you, what's your predictions for how this first shot's going to go? As it's the first shot, I might need to get my eye in. Hone it in. Yeah, remember the candle video we did? Yeah. Took a few goes, didn't it? Did. So I'm thinking this is going to be something similar where we have to get, but we have to get it perfect on the left to right, but it doesn't matter if we get it not so perfect on the up and down, so. All right, I can get on board with that. Right, I'm going to, I'm going to go. Have you got your eye protection on? What? Eye pro? Yeah. Whoa! I got hit. Did you? What with? Was it a shard? I don't know, something hit me. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. I don't know if it was balloon or not. Bugger. It was the pellet. Just a tiny piece of pellet. I wonder if it was this bouncing back. It's not very safe, is it? Lovely split. Yeah. It's not, not really a 50-50 split, not even. but... Is there two pieces on that one side? Yeah. So it's split into three? Yeah, I think so. To both balloons. See there, it's hit the. Uh, yeah, it's coming right back at us. How's that? Wait. It's come off. It's made a little chip in the wood, and it's now just hurtling back towards my hand. That looked like it was going almost into the lens. Good job it didn't. Yeah. I mean, it hit my hand, and it didn't hurt that much. So it probably would have just yeah. dinged the uh, the glass. But still, we need to rethink our angles here. Maybe it's just because the angle of the backstop <laughs> perfectly hit it. And came back. What are the chances of that, though? Damn it could good, have gone anywhere. Damn good job we were wearing eye protection. I did say you got your eye protection in. It, it went right over your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you right there? No. Why? What's going on? The balloon is like weak at the rim, so I have to like just. <laughs> it's not like you know when you blow into one normally, it like holds the rim and like you can just blow into it. It's like weak, so I'm like. It's not letting me blow into it. To avoid the same thing happening again, where it obviously hit the wood there and bounced straight back at the camera, I'm going to try tilting the wood back so that, because of the angle, it's going to go higher. Sounds good. Miss the camera. Do you want like a whole face protection, B? Yeah, all right, I'm going to get one. Good idea. I've changed the resolution to 512 by 320, which is teeny weeny, but we are now at 120,000 frames a second, and I've got an ice long trigger cable, so I don't get hit again. Huh. I think I missed. I think you may have... Did you miss the knife? Uh, no, I think I hit the side of the knife and it deflected to the left and hit the balloon. Oh, all right. Oh, no. Oh, you actually got it. I did get it. Oh, perfectly, if anything. <laughs> that was perfect. So I think the fault was just in the angle. Uh, the actual shot on the knife. <coughs> oh, it's satisfying. That's perfect as well. Where did it go? So it went into the purple one, didn't pop it, went straight through, and I think just missed the green one. What? Came out the other side of the purple one, ripping it. Whoa. Oh, man. Huh. It must have missed by such a fine amount on that green there. Yeah. Very oh. close. All right, let's reset. Okay. You know, looking at the footage, it was, it was like it was almost touching it. I feel like it looked like it directly went into it and just disappeared. It must have 
It must have just slightly... Is that from it? No. Maybe. Do you think that could be from it, from like a scrape? That could be, you know. So say if we trace that, I can just about see the knife from this position here. So it must have just scraped it, it then. It just goes past there. That's so close. Just for some curiosity here, I've now switched the focus from being on the front of the blade to it's now the front of the balloons because we've seen what happens when it splits on the blade. So now really just interested in seeing what happens at this point because on this balloon, it went in and then popped the other side of the balloon. Like it didn't <laughs> split from the hole. So weird. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> Even though it missed that one, what was cool to see about that one is that you saw the pellet go through the front, carry on through the middle of the balloon, and it still had enough speed, and there was still enough tension in the back of the balloon that it split through the back too. Like, so it didn't just get caught up in the loose rubber. It was still going fast enough, and this was still stretched enough for it to just go, Wink, see you later. That really puts into perspective how quickly those, uh, those pellets go. Yeah. Because, so by the time it hit the back of the balloon, half the balloon was already open. Yeah. And it was pretty much just air on air. There was yeah. no, the entry was that big and it still managed to split it the other side. That's ridiculous. It, it can race through a balloon quicker than the balloon can pop. It's fast. That is fast. If it was a bullet, it'd be even faster. Because I'm firing directly down the blade, it's incredibly difficult to actually see where the middle is, if not impossible. Well, because it's so thin. Because it's so thin. So if you look directly in the middle of the blade, you see that? Only one side should be purple, and then this side should be purple. Yeah. You see that? <laughs> yeah. So that's why I'm using two different colours, so that I can actually see the middle of the blade. Because otherwise, <laughs> I'm basically like, right, directly in between the yellow and the purple. Because otherwise, it would just be all purple, and I'd be like, I don't know <laughs> what I'm aiming at. Oh, amazing split. Again. Oh, simultaneous. It was, was like identical on both sides. Perfect symmetry there. That was a lovely shot. Thank you. And well done for your shot. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. We will now get a side-on angle with the green and the yellow. How about that? Ooh, how about that? Oh. What? It surprised me for some reason. <laughs> no idea why. <laughs> it surprised you. Yeah. Sh sh shooting at balloons. Bloody oh, hell. It was loud. So I've managed to, after looking, find half of the pellet oh, yeah. that I fired. So it's been completely split in half by the knife. And as you can see, the outside of it is kind of dull and rusty because I let it get wet <laughs> and uh, didn't really look after it. But if I turn it over, it's completely shiny and new, the internal metal. Oh. And it's just been perfectly sliced. Some nice, very slow, swingy looking footage there. Bit of metal on metal. Satisfying, how it just perfectly sliced it in half. Yeah. It's not even managed to dent the knife, it's just sort of stained it. I think the pellets are just really soft. Yeah, you, I'm sure if you hit the pellets against anything, they would mush and split apart. But because it's such a sharp knife, it's making very clean cuts through it. Yeah. And leaving you with that sort of polished edge on the inside. It's even making like the pellets not perfectly straight, but the inside that's been cut is like sort of concave like that because it's going like that around the knife ah. and then being sent either direction so it's sort of going <laughs> very cool yeah hopefully you enjoyed that video feel free to follow us on twitter we've got a channel it's this one we've got a second channel as well it's that one feel free <laughs> to subscribe to both and we will see you in the next video love you we got this one we got that one one of these one of these <laughs> cheers to sog for the knife <laughs> so it can't be sog it's got to be like standard operating gear or something. Hmm. Either way, cheers for the knife. Yeah. <laughs>